Now, I knew golf clubs were bad and not accepting people for membership. But a former police officer has been refused membership to a golf club, actually not far from here, because of a tattoo. Yep. Like, what is the world coming to? Mate. Also, Josh, in this video, we're going to talk about people robbing stuff. Actually, yeah. quite uh, a link here is the fact that he's a police officer. Yes. Very <laughs> issue with golf clubs. Yeah, mate. 100%. I'm I mean, honestly, they've offended me. All his mates should just cancel Leave. membership. Yeah. It probably costs forty thousand pounds a year. Yeah, very good link. I thought, that's, <laughs> I thought that's why you knew it was in there. I didn't. But oh, very okay. good. Fair very enough. good for you. <laughs> um, and I'm gonna say this now. You may have to bleep this. This is the <laughs> issue with golf clubs. Yeah, mate. Hundred percent. I'm sorry. We've spoke about this on the podcast. We've spoke about a number of things around similar issues, whether it be clothing, whatever it may be. And it is getting on my nerves because actually, guess what? The world has moved on. The world, we are not 100 years ago where only gentlemen can play and all that rubbish. Golf needs people. Good people like this man are not being allowed to play golf because of a tattoo that he's got on his head. Now, when we get into this, you're going to see why it's even worse that he's not allowed to, to play because of this tattoo because there's a reason he's got this tattoo and by the way that was quite quite feel like passionate about this don't you it's it's annoying it's <laughs> mate terrible. i fully agree now the, the problem i get with this is that they are prejudging this person yeah. because of a tattoo not on his golfing ability which yeah. doesn't matter anyway nope. not on the kind of person he is not on the fact that um he's gone I mean, basically what i'm trying to say is they are prejudging him because he's got tattoos have you ever seen that thing i've seen it on facebook where a guy who's fully tattooed goes up to people saying, oh, can I help you with this? Da, da, da. People walk away. Yep. They put makeup on him, yep. and it's totally different. Yep. This is the same thing. If he, had, if he wore a hat or had hair and he saw the tattoo you couldn't see it, he'd probably be in that golf club. Yeah. Okay, Josh, get into this story. So this happened. I'm going to call it the golf club because this is an absolute disgrace. Yep. Heswell Golf Club, probably not yeah. going to be allowed to go there ever again. Don't care. I don't want to go and play there um, because of this. Heswell Golf Club denied this gent membership because of a tattoo on the back of his head. Mm -hmm. And this has made the news. Yep. Like, what are you doing? I still think it's ludicrous that golf clubs have an interview process to go through and apply for membership. I understand yeah. sometimes you've got to have certain protocol and certain rules, but it's absolutely archaic. Okay, Josh, g just give us the full story here of this. So we said it's Hesel Golf Club. Yep. He's been denied membership. He's a police officer. Well, he's been denied membership on multiple occasions. Okay, he insists that it's as a result of the ink on his head. So here's a picture of the ink of his head right yeah. here. So I mean, it's a tattoo. Fair. Yeah. What is it? How many people have tattoos now? Exactly. Being Ricky Fowler's got one here. Exactly. This is this is the thing, and this is the issue. And so he's a six-six year old. He's got a school tattoo, and he's had it for a decade. And this is, here's here's the kicker. It's to cover up medical scarring. So actually. There's a very, very good reason why he's got that tattoo. He doesn't even need a reason to have that tattoo. No. He can have that tattoo if he wants it. It should not stop him getting into a golf club. Okay? He's come out and said he's a keen golfer and he's played at the club many times as a visitor. All his friends in the area are members there and he thought he could apply for membership and spend the rest of his retirement playing golf with them. But that is not the case because the feedback he got from friends who were at the club was that I've been refused because of my tattoo and that some council members found it offensive. I mean, honestly, they've offended me. All his mates should just cancel leave. membership. Yeah, All go somewhere should else. Leave. Go somewhere else. He's, he said, I'm a man of good character. I'm well known in the area and I'm very embarrassed that a club has refused me. All of my friends play there and it denies me the opportunity to play golf with them for the next 15 years. I don't think he should be embarrassed at all. No, neither do I. It should be the golf club that's embarrassed. Yeah, especially when you find out that the reason is he's got a head tattoo because of a medical scar that he's... He is argue, arguably embarrassed of and wants covering up. So actually, have a serious think about what you're doing and the reasons why people have, have tattoos. You shouldn't even need to think about why, why they have tattoos because guess what? It's their body. Do what you want. It's... It's such an archaic way of thinking. I mean, thinking. God of days in business where you can't trade tattoos. No one cares now. Yeah. Here's a question for you guys watching right here. We love it when you get involved, but I, w I want you to get down in the comments. Let us know any stories that you've had when joining a golf club. And if you're already a member, did you have to go through a process of playing with the captain, playing with the president, going in front of a meeting? I mean, I remember being a junior golfer and having to wear my dad's blazer 
And I was must be like 11 years old and sat in front of the whole committee. I mean, it was the most distraught thing I've ever been to Horrible. in my life. You're like called into this meeting. So why do you want to... That's the thing. I just want to play golf. And so this is... this. Have you ever seen the film The Greatest Game Ever Played? Yeah. That film... It's it's all about um, the amateur Francis Wiemet who won the U.S. Open. Mm. Um, but at the start of that film, there's a point, and it's just like that. And that is what this is. It's aristocracy. It's the prim and proper wanting to stop someone who's actually is a former police officer for crying out loud. And it goes on this, and um, he said that all the members have tattoos on their body, and it's not like there's a no tattoo policy. Compounding matters, he claims that the non-member privilege has also now been revoked. And he asked the club for feedback as to why they refused membership and received a letter to say that they're not obliged to give any feedback. So now so now I can't even enter the club as a guest because I'm refused membership. Ridiculous. You can't even pay to you can't even pay and play per round to go and play with his mates. Yeah. You know what? Sack it off. That is an absolute disgrace. And it is, it's horrendous. And the golf club have come out and said that it welcomes membership applications from new and existing golfers of all ages, abilities and backgrounds and is aware of its obligation under the Equality Act of 2010. Is it absolute bollocks? Well, How's the how is that equality when they're not letting him in? Exactly. All applications are considered on a case on case basis and on occasion membership can be refused. As a private members club, the club is under no obligation to detail the reasons why members have been refused either to the applicant or third party. You know what they should do? They should get someone else the head tattoo, make up it up, go and apply, get in, rub it off, rub it off. see what they say then. Exactly. And he came out and said that it does, the club does not operate a no tattoo policy. Honestly... I it's, can't believe we're talking about this. This is one of them where it's all a bit of this is this can be the only reason why. This is what this gent is feeling and, and his thoughts on this. But if if all his friends play there, he he must hit the I know enough members to be in here category. Yeah. He's a upstanding men, member of the community by all accounts, especially from his, his job. Because as far as I know, that's something that they take into account. So I mean, you don't join. You can't join the police if you're if you're an dodgy person. So what's the other? What's what's the reason then? Hesel Golf Club. Yeah, and I would. You say you're not biased. You, know you say you're not biased to say anything. It stinks. We're reaching out to you. I want to hear why he has been refused membership. I think it's ridiculous. Okay, Josh, let's go on to this next part of the story. So yes. linked to this, obviously, this gent's a policeman. Okay, Josh. So linking this story, and I'm not surprised at this. Obviously, golf's a very expensive game. Yeah. And we're in an economic crisis. Things are yeah. very, very expensive. Golf equipment's like, I mean, you sell a putter, 350 quid. Yeah. There is a video going around. This has gone viral. I mean, have a look at this on the screen. Of two guys. I mean, what gets me is these two guys look like the typical bloody membership of Heswell. Oh. Old, oh, prim and proper. It's ridiculous. Look at him grabbing two putters, placing them aside, and this guy walks out. Now, you've got to bear in mind, you think a golf club doubles up on their prices. So those two putters, let's say they're Scotty Camerons, they're going to only make probably 20, 30 pounds on each putter. Yeah. And they've had to invest 170 quid. Yeah. And the funny thing is, he sticks them down his pants. It's ridiculous, mate. Like, and, and this isn't the first video I've seen this week of, of this happening at either pro shops or golfing stores. There was one that came out in America where people were stealing like thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds worth of golf clubs. And these two guys just wander out like nothing's happened. It's It's... Disgusting, really. Yeah, this has got 602,000 views. Nearly 603,000 views. And like I say, these two guys look like the typical golf club member. Yeah. Now, what, what what also gets me here is, like, I reckon this goes on week in, week out. In fact, I know it does. Like, I know at certain places, there are certain members you, like, watch out for them. Yeah. They rob this. They try and get away with yeah. murder. They try and do this. And... The people that are really affected by this and the people that don't tend to have CCTV are your PGA pro, yeah. are your local pro of a golf club because essentially they're running it on a shoestring budget. The big guys build this into their prices. So the big companies will build this into their prices, right? So they'll know they'll add on a bit of this, a bit of that for wastage, for yeah. spills, for things getting broken or people robbing stuff. Your local PGA pro, it costs, this is going to surprise you, to stock a pro shop like you see in there it probably costs £40,000 a year. Yeah. £40,000 a year of their own money. And by the way, most PJ Pros now are getting less and less retainers, mm -hmm. which in the past they used to get. Yeah. So their own money invested, tied up, and very often they sell to sell most of it the next year on sale. Yeah. It's uh, it's sad, really. It's sad that this is happening. Um, 
it's the way of the world at the minute. Um, there seems to be all sorts of stuff going on, but it, we don't want it in golf, in no. my opinion. Um, and w- equally, we don't know if these guys are members. These guys could have just walked off the street, and part of it is they want to look like they, they, members, they yeah. should be at the golf club. But it isn't great. So, And this is at the Royal Winchester, so it's it's sad, really. And it, but equally, these two look like an absolute pair of jokers sticking two putters down the pants. So And the faces all over. And the faces all over social media. Okay, so scroll down for Josh. Let's go look at the comments here. Read some of them here. So the staff were by the door speaking with another customer and they walked in and got into their van and drove away and they've all the details and have since identified them, which is good. Okay, great. Really pos- for, uh, positive. But like, it's there's all sorts of, of comments like the employees recording from the phone off, off the security monitor. So basically someone said, how's the camera moving? But that they're just showing it off a monitor. Yeah. But it it's one of them where it, it, it can't happen, but equally... Well, well, we can't do anything about it. We we can just bring bring sort of attention to it. It's one of them where pro shops can't have security on the door. No. You said they can't afford it. These these guys are on a shoestring budget, and it's sad, really, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely dreadful. I mean, we don't like bringing you negative news, but they're two negative stories. Have you ever worked in a pro shop, been in a pro shop, or been part of seeing people robbing stuff? It's, it it shouldn't happen. It can't happen. Like, literally can't happen. Like, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget, as always, we've got the podcast. We upload podcasts, which is a little bit more lighthearted than this video. Yeah, um, yes. A little bit more fun every single week to have a listen to in the car. So don't forget, do subscribe to the channel here on Back Nine Films. But also, have a listen to the pod, the Back Nine pod. All that information is down below. Thanks for joining us. And you know what? Enjoy the Open next week. <laughs>